The Bible warns us about the unprofitable servant that he's going to be cast into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth and Christians don't like when I bring up that uh, Bible scripture, but it's an eternal truth that there will be many Christians that all they do is, is say, Jesus, Jesus, it's just a mouth confession. They believe in their head and they don't serve God out of the heart. And they're not profitable for the kingdom of God. There's a work to do out here for the Lord. And God is calling all his laborers to the harvest. We are in the end times and we can't be sky watchers that just sit around and look at the signs of the times and the, the, the signs of the end and we become complacent and apathetic. Some Christians just sit behind their computer screen and their phone and they just look at the signs of the end. That's it. They become complacent. They become apathetic. They become unprofitable. Uh, unprofitable. And God doesn't want you to be unprofitable. There is work to do. We have to witness this gospel. We have to be bold for Jesus. I'm encouraging you today, Christian, don't be unprofitable for the kingdom of God. You do not want to hear them words. Depart from me, you unprofitable servant. He will cast the unprofitable servant with the hypocrites. This is the Bible, my friends. This is in scripture. We have to be careful to maintain good works. The Bible says we should be zealous for good works. That's how we keep our fire burning. That's how we keep our movement with God in our walk. We are careful to do good works, to witness this gospel, to preach Jesus Christ, to warn men that there is a judgment because of sin and that there is no other name given amongst men that we can be saved and it's only through Jesus. Yet how could they hear if the Christian is not willing to speak up and preach this gospel and witness the salvation of the Lord? We must preach repentance. We must preach repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you're going to perish. Whether men get angry or whether they don't like it or not, we got to preach the truth. It's the truth that sets you free. Jesus said, you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. We can't water down God's word and smooth it out so that we don't make men angry at us. The sword of God's word is sharp and is sharp for a reason because it brings conviction of sin. And we can't smooth out the edge of God's sword because we want men to like us and love us and not get angry at us. The Bible is offensive to men who are not willing to repent. That we have to preach repentance. We have to preach Jesus Christ. We have to warn men that there is only one name given amongst men that they can be saved and they must come to the Lord. They must humble themselves. They must confess their sins and humble themselves and come to the Lord because God is righteous and just to forgive those who humble themselves and confess their sins. Yet, how could they humble themselves if us Christians are not willing to lift up our voice and to preach this gospel? You don't have to go out there with a speaker. You can go on the street corner. You can go to your neighborhood shopping stores and you can witness this gospel. You can hand out tracts. You can warn men, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. They may have some people out there. They may need some prayer. Christians are to pray for people. We are to plant seeds of the gospel in these rebellious people's hearts in hopes that God can give an increase. The Bible says one plant, one waters. And God gives the increase. Yet how can God give the increase if the laborers are not working the harvest? There's a harvest out there. Let's not be unprofitable servants. Let's not just keep staring at the signs of the end and be sky watchers. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Let's be laborers for the Lord Jesus Christ and preach this gospel faithfully so that when we step through that door of death and we step on into eternity, we can hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Be blessed. Be encouraged. 
labor for the kingdom of God. The Lord has work for all of us to do. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.